to you again, guys. Sorry, it's been a bit quiet lately. Had some um, of my own personal stuff going on at home. Me and my mate Junior, you might recognize this uh, folk from earlier videos in the channel. A little quick look and brief rundown. Obviously, you'll see that big nitrous bottle there. It's got 50 horsepower jets shooting nitrous into it. It's a 2022 Infanta inflatable Thundercat. These are made and originated from South Africa. Pretty much their national sport in South Africa. They run an event called the Trans or Gullis. Just filled up the nitrous bottle. And not only that, in the previous videos you've seen with Junior, his motor, it's an American 50. Uh, this one is actually his fully built power head. In previous videos, it actually wasn't getting full throttle since Fix that up so we should have full throttle. Um, we put some timing into the motor, so um, it should be interesting. See who we can go and annoy on the Gold Coast. Hopefully, there might be some jet skiers we can chop. It's pretty wild, these Thundercats. If you haven't had a go of one, I would encourage anybody to jump in one. Once you've sat in one and had a go of one, you'll realize they're very secure, they feel safe and they literally just glide across the top of the water like Aladdin's magic carpet. We've come from the boat ramp to Tipplers to grab um, Friday breakfast, which will probably consist of a can of Jack Daniels or Jim Bean. These are the Fridays we love. Um, the boat's going pretty well. It's got a little bit of a porpoise an issue, which we're going to see if we need to either raise or lower the motor. And um, if you just didn't know, 
we're strong boat people. Um, we don't really like jet skis that much. And if people don't know, Gold Coast Australia is the number one sales for jet skis in the world. And sometimes on the weekend, this whole beach is filled with jet skis and you can't even get a park. Um, I think they hand their licenses out in your local cereal boxes. So I think that's why they, there's so many um, half wits on them out here. But uh, I love me boats. I can't get away from the boats. What do you reckon, Junior? Is it time to um, hand this one in and get one of those? Or? <laughs> no. Get a jet ski, eh? You could have two mates on the back, Griffin, well, yeah. So if you're looking for a, a fellow jet ski partner, if you drink a soy latte, that always helps. Mate, come on down to Tipplers, you might find the... Uh, a life partner. A life partner. In a world full of ibises and seagulls, be an eagle. This is a rare sight. It's a um, jet ski rider with a girlfriend. Snapped the, we snapped my uh, fishing rod. Oh well, what do you do? It's now a three piece. Oh well, you get that on the big jobs.
That's the definition of don't want no smoke, eh? So as you can see with Junior's setup, he's actually made the throttle reverse grip to suit his riding style. So he actually sits on the opposite side of the boat. But um, she's got plenty of torque. You can see the forearm pump. My forearm's nearly bigger than my bicep. She's got a lot of grunt. Both arms, had to go both hands driving it the way Junior rides it and then trying to drive it the way I'm used to sitting. But obviously, got to reverse throttle it. Because sometimes when you're up there on the pencil, where you think you're actually backing off, you're actually giving it more and you've got to catch yourself. But all those videos that you can see us trying to do pencil sits out here and just having a bit of fun. We're doing it all with a 22 pitch cleaver. So ideally it's not the best prop to be doing pencil sits with. So boats aren't boats unless you've got something going down. Got one of our nitrous nozzles is just from the vibration it's um it's worked its way out. You know how we fix that? Zip tie life, zip tie racing. Never leave home without them. So yeah man, good good colour plug, good burn. I'm um, happy with the timing mark, so we've still got plenty in it man, she's not going over the top. No burns on the tip, still looks like a good plug to me man. Good fuel burn, good everything, that's a cookie brown man, that's where you want to be. Here inside the carby, it's just pouring fuel out of the jet there. And there's all fuel coming out the back of the carby here. We've got a stuck fuel bowl. That's why it started running a little bit rich. But uh, it'll be an easy fix at home with the right tools. So we're just going to um, slowly cruise home and hopefully we make it back to the ramp. What happens when you get off it, I guess, eh? Right? Yeah, I want these rocks. Put it yeah, my old carrier's gone. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to check if your, if your bolts are backed out or if they're cracked. Well, as always, it just keeps getting better. We literally come in 10 metres from the boat ramp and all of a sudden just started dead revving, as you'll see on the footage earlier. and um. It looks like we've possibly cracked and broke the bolts on the carrier and the gearbox because uh, I said to Junior I could smell gearbox oil and then next minute. Such a shame because that's such a beautiful prop. This is just there. It wouldn't be a hard fucking thing if I had a snorkel. George. George. Not a bad option. Your camera on the coal would have been really down. Yeah, but we broke that too. Yeah, I know. So it looks like after all that thrashing today, the two uh, nuts on the carrier have backed out. So it hasn't broken, they've just backed out. But Junior said he's locked tight and double checked everything, but just unfortunate bad luck. Yeah, good day, good day. Never a boring day on the cats. So it's the next morning. We've come, I've come back to the boat ramp here um, to see if I can find Junior's prop for him. Um, I've got my big magnet here and I've got my mate Angus. He's got a really good fish um, sounder on his fish finding sounder. So we'll be able to have a look at the bottom, see if we can find this propeller because um, that was a really nice propeller. That was actually my favorite one of a kind propeller when I had my Thundercat and I sold it to Junior for a thousand bucks, so 
even though it's Junior's propeller and his money at the bottom of the river, we need to try and find this thing because um, they're too, too good to leave at the bottom of the river. So um, we'll go check it out.